once upon a time, a Soviet war. Let's start from the beginning. How did you... I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the... I left the guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? When leaving the cell, I found my... That box contained some filthy cloth scrap. I thought everyone would be asleep at night. One guard on the night shift. Bless you. I was injured and losing blood. I had to heal the... Why did you keep punching those crates? What did you expect to happen? Nothing in particular. Then why this gratuitous violence? I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. You know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. I need to pee. Hello? You talking to me? Affirmative. My name is... Under some crates, I found my salvation. I took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect... Hey! A coin! I picked up the guard's radio. I have. 
had the circuit. I just had... With the modified radio, Here you are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through Channel 1 as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. With the radio encrypted, I could talk. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. Sewer found. I'm looking for a rope or something to go down. There must be some around. Search thoroughly. You stole a one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. You removed his glass eye too? Yes. I took it out of his eye socket to chill out. To chill out? Pulling out glass eyes relaxes you? I'm not a sadist. I didn't enjoy pulling it out, but it helped when I rolled it around in my mouth like candy. I was under a lot of pressure. Too much stress and I'd end up making a mistake. <laughs> Hey, buddy, I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? It's only one ply, unscented, and unpatterned. It's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax, and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes, sir. You broke down the door and attacked a guard while he was on the toilet? Yes. I beat the shit out of him. Is that a joke? 
No, I literally beat the shit out of him. That toilet paper wasn't unscented anymore. Let's move on. ran into a guard as I went in. Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. The lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot? Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you gonna shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots, and goodbye, guard. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. Hey, Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. The soldier says to his captain, I reached a special place where I found... I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. Hey, bro. Help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. And I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner too. I've been imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. Hey friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box.
Hold on, I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard! Hasta la vista. What's in your closet, Private? It's water, sir. Don't lie to me. This is wine. Praise the Lord. Hey, Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now I remember. It was that damn grenade guy. Oh, yeah, now I... Boss defeated. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground, 
I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks. And the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. I dipped the severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, everything down there was out for my blood. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders! Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. You've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was Fubar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. me off. Damn. 